everyone. Hello, my friends um, and new friends. For those of you that don't know me, I am Dr. Janet Rourke, and I am a veterinarian in Central Texas. Um, I just want to be here for you guys. So every Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Time, which is right now, I go live and answer your questions. So if you are hopping on live, let me know who you are, where you're coming in from, and what essential oil you're using today. And if you have a question, about essential oils and animals or essential oils or animals, <laughs> um, any of the above, um, post your question in the comments and I will pull a few of those up and answer those live, but totally on my feet. Um, no previously known, uh, known, I, I don't know what, the, what you guys are going to ask, actually. It's so scary every week going live and having you guys just ask me random questions. I don't know how crazy things are going to get or what how hard your questions are going to be or if I even know the answer without looking them up. So, uh, But it's something I've been doing for a really long time. I really love connecting with you guys and um, answering your questions. So if you can see me, let me know. Let me know where you're from. Let me know. Um, what questions you have, what essential oil you're using today, and um, anything else really. I'm just here to chat with you for a few minutes um, before dinner time. So on, on Sundays, that's what I like to do. So um, I wonder if I have any announcements while you guys are hopping on here and uh, hopefully my internet, my internet connection does not look like it's really good. So hopefully you guys can see me and or at least hear me and understand me. Um, so I guess the only announcement I have, I have two announcements, I guess. One is that last Wednesday I did an allergies webinar in the membership. And if you missed that and you're not in the membership yet, you can still access it. So if you actually join the membership now for a month, which is $27, you can just make sure auto renew isn't checked. If you're like, oh, I can't afford more than $27. Um, that's okay. Just do it, do it for a month and uncheck auto renew. Um, of course I would love it if you stayed because that's how I pay my bills. Um, and we've got a lot of those right now, but, um, but you can definitely do that and still check out that webinar. It's recorded and you can go into the membership portal immediately once you register and watch that recording. It was really, really good as far as what, uh, what allergies are, what the symptoms are, how you can address it. We include a lot of different recipes in there as well as general recommendations for uh, cats, dogs, and horses for, for if they have allergies as well. So it's a really good webinar. Um, and I'm not just saying that to be like, oh, I'm so awesome. You guys know I'm not like that. So, um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, just really helpful. I think it's really helpful if you have an animal with skin problems and you just don't know why, or they're licking their paws all the time and you don't know why, go watch that webinar. I think you're going to get the answers that you're looking for. Um, okay. So there are a couple of questions that are posted. So I'll get to those. Um, so that's my first announcement. Um, I guess I should do my second announcement first, but let's do questions and then I'll stay just stay tuned for my second announcement. Uh, the first question is from Erica in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Hopefully it's not snowing there. Um, not currently using any. Is there anything from my Cavalier King Charles that can, he can take for snoring? Doc says he doesn't need surgery in the back of his throat. So snoring um, is a result of a very relaxed soft palate and smush faced dogs. Um, and that is pretty normal. Um, so it's not necessarily a bad thing, even though it's really annoying for us uh, because it, it keeps us awake at night. So what you can try is diffusing oils that open up the airways a little bit more um, and don't relax it too much. And so a great oil for that would be something like super mint um, or air, air X is actually a really great combination of respiratory support oils. Um, and kind of um, air cleansing oils, as well as it being a really yummy smell that is very soothing. So, so most people don't have a hard time sleeping if that's being diffused. But you can always do a little bit of the respiratory blend diluted on his um, chest or the kids 
respiratory blend. There, there's a kid's respiratory blend as well that you can rub on, um, on the chest or on the collar to kind of open up the airways while they're sleeping for sure. Becky says, when you mentioned birds, uh, will that always include chickens? We got chicks for the first time this year. I'm worried about diffusing while they're in the house while we wait for it to warm up before they can move into a coop outside. So yes and no. So chickens do have air saccules, just like uh, pet birds. Uh, however, they're very tough when it comes to essential oils. Um, they do really well with essential oils. And as long as your chicks are, you know, they have their feathers already, um, they're not naked. Uh, which most they don't, they're only a few days old when that happens. So uh, then it's totally okay, okay to diffuse in your home. I wouldn't necessarily diffuse right by where they're located, uh, but you can certainly diffuse in other rooms and that sort of thing. And I wouldn't worry about that at all. They're they're not as sensitive as you think. And actually, uh, pet birds can do really well with diffusion as well, as long as you're not diffusing like 20 drops at a time and you're sticking to you know three to four drops in your diffuser that you're not diffusing really, really spicy oils, um, though, then it should be fine. It actually can can support their immune system a little bit better as well. It actually can be really good for them. Again, chickens and birds in general, the Air X um, blend is super good for them. And uh, if you can get access to it, it's um, a really, really good one for those guys. Um, Kim says top oils to support dogs for flea and tick season. I'm going to do a whole webinar on this in my group. Um, if for, it'll probably take an hour to go through all of this, uh, but just really quickly, the shield and cedar wood are great options. Um, oils that are really good for ticks in particular are geranium, turmeric, and peppermint. Geranium and peppermint are in the new Terra Shield, and you can use the new Terra Shield or the old Terra Shield. Uh, but cedar wood's also a really great option if you just want to do a single oil. Uh, some people like to add in lavender um, as well as the eucalyptus blend as well. So there's a lot of different options there. Uh, Becky's chiming in from Alaska. No problem. Oh my gosh, Alaska. Okay, so that is like all the questions that are posted. So I don't know if Facebook just isn't showing my videos to people or what, but let me do my last announcement um, and then we'll just wrap it up for today and call it a day. So my last announcement is that I am going to be actually hosting a two-day essential oils for animals workshop and it'll be mostly pets. So actually it will be a essential oils for pets. So it'll be mostly dogs and cats. And there are going to be a ton of awesome bonuses as well. So it's going to be a two-day workshop on May 20th and 21st. It's going to be uh, virtual, online, live. Um, so you'll want to get a ticket for that. Uh, we're going to be launching a webinar beforehand, um, which will be the top, top five mistakes uh, pet owners make when it comes to using essential oils around their pet. It's something that's really, really a common the, the top five things that I see um, and that people are really scared of. And so I'm going to be addressing that in a webinar, a little 30 minute webinar on that will be on demand starting on May 8th. And then on the back end of that webinar, you'll actually be able to sign up for the two day workshop, which is going to be so good. You guys, I am going to literally be talking about everything from A to Z when it comes to animals and essential oils um, and just from a really basic standpoint. So don't feel like you have to be some scientist or veterinarian to understand it. Um, but I'll, I'll of course have a little bit of good juicy stuff for, like that for those of you that really like it, but it'll be really simple. And the things that you need to know for, you know, joints and, and fleas and, um, you know, uh, as pets age and, and cancer and all the things that were like, concerned about and, and that we deal with on a daily basis with our animals, as well as general recommendations. We'll do a little bit of blending. We're going to talk about safety. It's going to be so, so epic. It'll be six hours uh, on Saturday and Sunday, the 20th and 21st, and it's going to be so good. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about it, you guys. Um, but I hope make sure you tell all your friends and invite everybody. Uh, as soon as I have links for those, I will definitely share those with you. I'll share them via email as well as on my Facebook page. So you guys, um, and, and hopefully if I remember my Instagram page, I always forget about my Instagram, my poor Instagram friends. I love you guys, but I'm on Facebook for, sorry. <laughs> um, but it's awesome. Okay. Kim says, can you diffuse air X safely Oops, uh, with cats and dogs? A hundred percent. Yes, absolutely. 
three to four drops in your diffuser. Make sure it's in a place where your pets can't knock it over. Leave the room door open so they can leave if they want um, and you're good to go. Michelle says, when talking about fleas and ticks, do you use a carrier oil to put on their spine down their back? Okay, so again, we're gonna do a whole webinar on this next month in the membership. So definitely join the membership if you guys wanna learn more about this um, and all the details. But uh, it, you, yes, you have to dilute, 100%, you have to dilute oils when you're applying it to dogs and cats. Where you apply it is you'll want to apply it where the animals um, are going to be walking where the bugs like to attach. So if your dogs like to walk in the grass and the fleas and ticks are coming up from the grass, where's that gonna be? That's gonna be the legs and the belly and kind of the neck area, the lower neck. So the belly is actually where you wanna focus it so that they, it actually repels them from jumping on the animal in the first place. We put it just along the back, they can still jump on the legs and be like, oh, have, have a little party, have a little flea or tick party on the legs or um, on the ears. But you know, the neck, the ears, the face, any cre creases and crevices, um, you, can, you can apply it that way. I should, I should do like a fun video on how to apply it. Um, I might do that sometime. <laughs> As I'm promoting the the webinar in the membership next month, I'll probably do that for you guys and do like an application. But yeah, it's the belly and the legs that you want to focus on. Absolutely, you can apply it on the spine. I usually just rub it all over and get it everywhere, uh, but really focusing on the legs and the belly for sure. Um, you guys want that? <laughs> it's really fun. I make it a really fun little thing with my dogs. I'm like, um, because it's like mama, mama's petting them, right? And so I spray it on my hands. I rub my hands together and I just pet them all over and um, on their legs and stuff. And then I said, just make it super fun and crazy. And then we go outside and have a hey day and it's super fun. So <laughs> super fun. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you come to the webinar uh, about essential oil mistakes that people make, as well as the um, the upcoming two-day workshop in May. That is a paid workshop, uh, but we're going to keep it as affordable as possible um, for what it is. It is a two-day workshop, so it's not going to be like $20 or something like that, um, but it is because it's going to be a ton of work on my part. Um, I've been working on it for months at this point, trying to prepare for it. And then for those of you that are going to uh, come to convention in September, the day before, I'll actually be doing um, a workshop there as well, just a little one or two hour one um, the day before. So I'll give you guys access to that once I get more information on that. I know, I think they're selling tickets for that one already um, through um, EO Supplies. EO Supplies is, is hosting that one, which is, they're so generous to do that. Um, all right, you guys, and, and if you know what you want me to talk about the day before a convention, let me know because I don't have a topic yet and they're wanting me to give them a topic and I just am like, I don't know. <laughs> um, Kim says, spray the dog bed too. You can absolutely do that. Uh, this is more prevention, um, The what I'm talking about. However, if there's an active infestation, you have to get much, much more aggressive. You'll need to join the membership group to, to read that protocol because it is, it's, it's like 20 different steps. So um, if you're trying to address it naturally. Okay. Um, awesome guys. Well, thanks for the great questions today. And I will definitely see you next week, same time, same place. Um, and I hope to see you then. All right. Bye.